Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Andy CBPI and welcome back to another video. This time as you guys can tell I am using both of my hands which means I do have a head strap on guys. And as I made a promise before in my videos two to three months ago that I was going to end up getting a GoPro and I was going to end up getting all these crazy ass cameras. And as far as all those crazy ass cameras guys I might get a Canon for Instagram just to make better photos of my Crown Victoria. But otherwise than that guys as far as the whole entire GoPro I might lay back on it and basically not buy it right away because I'm going to try to use my uh, iPhone 7 Plus. And basically with this head strap that I have on right now I'm going to try to make a video and basically always do video when as soon as I start basically as when I got this head strap just a couple days ago that's my first video that I am making with this head strap so therefore I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes now if it does work out great and it does work out the same exact thing as the GoPro then I will just continue to always end up using my uh, head strap on my iPhone 7 and I will not be buying uh, GoPro but otherwise than that guys let me get right into this video and as you guys can tell by looking at my car it is dirty as hell it was just raining five to ten minutes ago so I do apologize for that and my car being really really messy and dirty and if you guys are having trouble hearing me I do apologize because there are airplanes always flying over here which is extremely annoying and it does really piss me off when I try to make a video and also excuse the wind once again and it is Tuesday when I'm making this video I'm not exactly sure what I might have it uploaded but other than that guys the reason why I'm making it on a Tuesday is due to the fact that tomorrow is supposed to rain and snow so I'm not gonna have time to fit it in tomorrow and today I happen to be off uh, classes and school or whatever you want to call it so therefore it gives me an opportunity to make a video but otherwise than that guys this video is basically gonna be me using my absorber really quick to uh, get the whole entire rain off of my hood and if you guys follow me on my Instagram at andycbpi you guys are aware that just a couple days ago I was getting the overspray off my windshield my back windshield and all of my windows and if you guys are asking what is the overspray from which majority of you guys have been asking me what was the overspray of and why are you basically having overspray on your vehicle and guys if you have been following me basically when I got my quarter panel slash fender repainted when my dad was spraying it I guess he did cover up majority but obviously painting in the garage uh, overspray was going on the whole entire vehicle but otherwise than that it's mostly on the top of the car guys and mostly on the hood and on the hood is mostly there because he had the box right there which had all the sprays in it so therefore the hood is the most spot where it's noticeable but otherwise than that guys the whole entire fender doors and everything else it's not really on the whole entire car it's just on the hood so therefore I'm gonna try to just use the absorber really quick get down the whole entire uh, water off it and basically just use paste wax guys I'm gonna try to use the strategy of using paste wax and basically just using paste wax against the whole entire hood and we'll be showing you the guys shortly but otherwise than that hopefully that strategy works out and hopefully you guys can see on camera how the overspray is and how noticeable the overspray is but otherwise than that guys I'm gonna be cleaning my Crown Victoria really soon and also making way more videos soon if you guys can tell right there I do have a burst and the whole entire underneath right here is already getting really dirty I did not put on tire shine yet but I am gonna be making a video actually when I finally clean this car since I have this head strap now how I clean it what products I use and finally get a video in for March 14th or 15th just like I promised a crazy ass detailing job all on video all just for you guys and that is going to be in a week from today or two weeks from today but I do want to say for future ideas guys I am also going to make a video on how to fix rust spots if you guys have rust spots like this me personally the reason why I have crazy rust right here is due to the fact when it snows and when it's salty outside all the salt and snow sticks up right there you guys know how it is so basically after staying here for a couple of days weeks it does end up eating the whole entire car paint and it does start forming rust so I can't wait to make a video on that guys as also making a video on my steelies obviously if you guys watched my video last week the front steelies are perfectly fine but the back steelies they are rusted all the way around as you guys can tell right here I'm gonna have to stand that and get right into that really quick now I'm not sure if you guys can see the caliper but as far as the caliper the calipers are perfectly fine and amazing job on the quarter panel once again but otherwise than that guys let me get right into the video I'm basically using the absorber and using the paste wax and guys when I use the paste wax personally as soon as I use the paste wax I basically just put on the little thing go smear it in let it dry for like 30 seconds to a minute and then what I use is a paper towel just because it's so much more better and easier than using another thing and just even smearing it more so I'm going to be showing you guys in a bit and hopefully <laughs> Oh, 
So as you guys can tell, the paint sack strategy does end up working because right here is where the normal paint was. It was a little box all the way up to here. So this already does blend in with this. And this, if you guys are asking why is it dimmed and fogged up, that is due to the fact that this is still paste wax. And therefore, if you guys are asking why didn't I take it off yet, that is because the fact that it is still drizzling outside. I'm not gonna bother using the whole entire paste sack to try to take it off while they're drizzling outside. So that's gonna be ruining my whole purpose. So what I am gonna be doing guys is basically moving my car Victoria into the garage and moving this car back outside and basically going from there and getting the whole entire hood and basically making it blend into the normal OEM paint that was on before. But otherwise than that guys, make sure to stay tuned because my video, my next week's video or my video from two weeks from today is going to be a whole entire crazy ass detailing job on the outside and using the paste wax and detailing the engine bay. You guys don't want to miss out on that because I promise you it will help you guys out to clean your car and you guys will see how I maintain and how I manage to keep my Crown Victoria the cleanest Crown Vic out there. But otherwise than that guys, if you like my future ideas and you like this video and like the little new hot strap strategy and how this video turned out, please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to stay tuned for more videos all the time. And once again, thank you so much for watching.